Hello to the gamers, the gamers. Now let's break it down for the ladies, the ladies. Ooh, you drive me so crazy. You make my mind go wild. But when I think about you, I can't help but smile. But you still won't phase me, you poopy doopy baby. I don't want no choosy groupie who only wants my gravy. You know what I'm talking about? You ever hear uh, David Fostino's rap? I think it's called I Told Ya. David Fostino, by the way, played Bud Bundy on um, Married with Children. How you been, man? What's new? I've been pretty good. Just, it's cold here now. I'm sure you, you, oh, can, yeah. uh, you can relate to that. We had one last week of summer-esque weather that uh, the universe saw fit to bless us with prior to immediately bringing on the cold and the gray, which is what it is today. Pokemon Go gifts have slowed down for sure. Absolutely. Downtrend. You doing anything for Halloween? Yeah, actually, we're going to a big uh, f party with some friends, which oh. is, 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 is a new thing I get to do again, considering I went without friends for you the know better people. part of eight years. I know, yeah. it's crazy, man. I think the last I saw of Dan on his stream, he was resizing an armored core video to fit screen. So I'm <laughs> curious if, if he's got a uh, sense of urgency here. At nine even, I went to his stream and he was just finishing up opening packs in his custom made card game. So uh, I, yeah. And he was saying like, I've got to go do some co-op with Bear and NL. So I was like, oh, he should be here any minute now. Working on DST. It's the problem with being friends with someone who's charismatic. They get away, and they're used to getting away with too much bad behavior in their lives because people don't keep them in check. Right. And it's the sa it's same with me. When he gets here, he's going to be like, sorry, I'm late. And I'm going to be like, don't worry about it. There's no problem. I, I was going to say, yeah, you've put the onus on us now to make sure that we attempt to correct the behavior, but we're not going to do now that. Now we got to be like, no, we're blowing it up. We're not sorry. We're not doing it today. This is sorry, Amplitude. Sorry, Sega. Dan decided that today was the day that the camel's back broke. All right, guys. Ryan told me to start at 1210. It is 1210 on the dot. What is going on? Bear Tap, I haven't talked to you in like 15 years. What's going on? I know. How you been, man? We're here to uh, enjoy your charismatic presence and not chastise you whatsoever for the few minutes we spent waiting for you to arrive. Oh, uh, Bear, look, I would never I would never put anyone out on the line, but earlier this morning, you're like, oh, I'm excited to do this. I'm like, yeah, I'm excited. And then yep. the third party came in. And could you, would you mind just re uh, repeating what that third party said? The third you don't party mind. being my, what, my, what my ISP? Me for? No, the third party means Ryan Gary. Oh, I see. He said, uh, quote, let's see. It, it, it depends what your rep says, but I have no problem postponing till tomorrow. If they say it's okay, can't speak for Dan, of course. Is this the part you want me to say? No, the part where Ryan says, I, I might be a little late. Things are a little hectic, 1210. I see. Okay, yeah. that is okay, fair. So, but so my... we're, we're on to blaming Ryan's child now, I think, is where we well, passed the buck. I, I'm basically getting raked over the coals for being the nice guy. Because I yeah. was letting you know that I might be late. I didn't say, hey, let's move it to 1210. I just said, if I'm late, you legally can't be mad at me. Oh, see, I, I read it as we're starting at 1210. Because, you know, understandably, I, I understand. I, well, I understand. That, look, We're starting at twelve ten because those packs aren't going to open themselves. Look, guys, I understand. If anybody understand, I understand what's going on here, and I'm going to go ahead and take the buck back to me. I'm going to, I'm going to put it in my soul and wear it as an emblem of honor because I, I, I respect your time so much, both of you. Well, thank you. Well, that's 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 mighty kind of you. Endless I'm dungeon, yeah. a unique. <laughs> three-player co-op roguelite it's it's i'm trying to think of the best genre to describe it it's almost like a reverse tower defense like you are i guess it's tower defense but you're moving the tower and trying to get it to like a destination hybrid action twin stick shooter strategy looter shooter it's got a little bit of everything in here and it's in space space the, hey. the last realm unfettered by well i forget what tim curry says but anyway, i remember what you're going you know for. what i'm talking about yeah exclamation point endless in everybody's chat you can check it out for yourself it came out one week ago today i'm gonna change my command to 
reflect that. Sorry. <laughs> I went with exclamation point ED, which I recognize as problematic. No, that's my sponsorship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're stepping on my toes with that one. My bad, my bad. Um, yeah, I'm excited. You know, it's, it's rare that there's like a game design for three-player co-op. So, you know, you can grip it and rip it. I was going to say sure. the same thing. Like, I, I went from a phase of my life where I played Dota, where I needed four friends. <laughs> Then, like, uh, you know, you got your classic, like, Borderlands setup where you need, like, three friends. As my social life dwindles, now we're down to two friends. Pretty soon, I'm just going to need a game that plays itself. I don't even have to be there. I mean, you've been training for that all your childhood anyway, right? So. <laughs> well, it's true, but you didn't have to say it. <laughs> I do have no siblings. That is true. All right, do you think that affected your game selection as a kid? Um, well, Absolutely. But why? Do you think it affected your ability to accept an invitation to join my game as oof, an adult? Oof, oof, oof. Um, well, I'll tell you, it affected my ability to socialize because I only know how to be rude to people. I could have <laughs> phrased that in such a nice way instead, but I didn't build up that necessary routine as a child. All right, I'm excited to play some Endless Dungeon, boys. You think we can, uh, you think we can go hitless? Yeah, go 100%. Hitless. Anything we set our collective minds to, I think we're capable of. Once, the, the only barrier to entry is getting all three of us in the same lobby. At which point, the world is our oyster. I'm with you. Not literally, but I, I, I get the sentiment. Spiritually, yeah. All right, I see. I've got yellow bulbous shoulders. Uh, if you're looking through my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think I'm here with you guys. I don't think so. We're looking at two out of three connected players. Oh, I'm in the saloon. Do you see us? No. What does your saloon look like? Well, I imagine a lot like yours. It's just that we're not there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me back out. So lads, right, we have so to we farm up some to... resources. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'll let Bear drive the bus on this one. He's an expert. We're looking to defend our crystal bot boy here, who's an adorable little uh, holder of wealth. We're going to acquire new science, tech, and uh, I think that, what was the last one called? Food? Yes. Resources every time that we open up a door like this. You can see that we got plus four because we get plus four per door that we open for each resource. We're going to use the build resources to construct turrets and other devices that are intended to defend our little buddy here as waves of enemies will be spawning as we find spawners going through the dungeon. You can see on our mini-map on the bottom right, the progress that we're making throughout. You can see us up here in the top left, our weapons available along with our HP and our special abilities. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Yeah, we're going to go through. We're going to try to find the end and bring our little bot buddy all the way through with us, defending him from waves of enemies all along. So, Bear, can I just say that was a phenomenal and this is not your first rodeo? I mean, that's like, <laughs> I can hear the sponsors grinning from ear to ear as you were breaking that down. That's really well You read the talking points. That. The first streamer to ever read the talking points. I, I read the handouts they give me, I swear. I feel like out of the three of us, Ryan, you'd be best at researching. Mm, I agree with that. Because I got glasses? Yeah. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Pretty much. Dude, I was watching uh, the NBA last night. Did you know there is a, a player on the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves who wears glasses? No. Like Rex Bex? Not, not goggles. Not like Horace Grant sports goggles. He was literally wearing the lens crafters. No way. Dude, it was inspiring. Are you sure uh, they weren't like Oakley? I athletic? swear to you, it was <laughs> like straight out of like zenny.com. Like Kurt Rambis? Do you remember Kurt Rambis? I have no idea what that means. Kurt Rambis, <laughs> used, to, Kurt Rambis used to wear the Rivers Cuomo's glasses in the 80s for the Lakers. You'd know him if you saw him. Was he oh, wearing like uh, black frame, like Ray-Ban glasses? I mean, they were one just... One of you two I needs to come get glasses. this key. I don't know what it's for, but it's that, one of you two. Uh, maybe it is me, actually. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt the... Oh, no, it's, it's no problem. Did, did that give you like hope like you could be in the NBA next yes. year? Yes. I was like, I, 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 I'm not used to seeing, you know... People who look like me crushing it in the NBA. Now he yeah. was like six <laughs> ten, but still. Used to seeing seven foot four freaks of nature like Victor Webanyama, right? Did you see that dude so last true, night? So true, so no. true. Holy cow! He's I was crazy. thinking though, like without changing the subject, how is it possible that a dude who's seven foot four gets one block in a in a game of basketball? <laughs> Shouldn't he be getting like fifteen blocks a game? 
You'd think. I mean, there's also a seven foot three guy. I feel like the the, the, the dudes in the NBA are just getting way too big. That, taller than I am, that's for sure. I will. I will mm -hmm. say my my favorite thing about the new guy is that he has a nickname that sounds like I made it up. What's, What's his that? nickname? Because you because you said Bear say his full last name. Victor Webanyama. Yeah, I think they call him like Wenby or something. Wenby. Yeah. Whole, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That does actually sound like a dandism now that you pointed out. Because uh, I could, what? Because I wish they had that for Giannis. But I guess Giannis is good enough. But Giannis like Atatekumpo yeah. is not. You know, it's a mouthful. It's a bit of a mouthful. You know, was the guy's name Ryan Anderson? Ryan? I think it was Kyle Anderson. Oh, Kyle. Kyle That's Anderson. the guy. That's the guy. That sounds right to me. Sounds like a guy who'd wear glasses in the NBA. We found the the actual <laughs> Moon, Moonlights as an attorney. Could build something else here as well. I think we might have the resources for it. I don't know if we need it just yet. Like, uh, I feel like our weapons are, are ripping these dudes up pretty well. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm stuck. Do you, I can't walk through this door. Do you see that? I see you shooting at a wall on my screen. Oh, the door is right here. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was a gate down. Oh, man. Protective barrier. Oh, I confused this for a generation. That's so for a good. generator building spot, too. Yeah, my bad. Oh, man. That got me good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It looked like a game. It looked like you trapped me in there. Yo, you guys see my new drip on my feet? You see him? Holy cow. Yellow you see, boots. Does it show up for you or no? Yeah, I yellow boots. I see boots. your yellow boots. Oh, you guys yeah, ever nice, nice. You guys ever see those Mickey boots that are, like, in style now? The, the uh -huh. just matte red ones? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, They're like Mickey Mouse look, shoes. They do look kind of sick. I'm not gonna deny it. What is that? Cause you're Disney <clears> pill? <throat> mm, I just think they they look cool. I, I'm I'll be wearing those, picking my kids up from daycare. I just think uh, they're you, neat. You would wear them? Absolutely. Are like, they waterproof? You know, the, the, you know the ones I'm talking about? They're like I know TV I know exactly they, they look, the ones. They look to like which cartoon. You are cartoon. To. You would wear those? Why not? Chad, how much are they? Let's let's get a little uh, campaign together to get them shipped over to Vancouver. I do think they're like nine hundred and fifty dollars, but you know what I didn't see when we lost last time though was like a um, a screen that told us who to blame. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Serious lack of that. There was no screen that was like one of us only killed five robots or something like that. Someone in my chat says I'm looking at that screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage that. Fine, Gary, how was Disney Cruise? I had a great time, as always. What, what was the highlight? You go a little uh, tango with Goofy? Um, the highlight? I don't know. Not having to cook or clean for like 10 days was pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> Eating dessert every day goes kind of hard. What kind of damage uh, do you do on the... Wait, do you measure yourself in pounds or kilograms? Canada is very hypocritical because we claim to be a metric country. But it, it's taken you 10 years to admit it, finally, we, Chad. Can we get some K-Konas in chat? We do use uh, pounds for weight most of the time, at least like the weight of a person. Um, and we do use feet and inches for height, usually. So I, the damage, I don't know. Cause I like honestly, I probably hit a new record low adult weight on the first day because I was so seasick. I yacked in the in the latrine, but then after that, you know, probably added like five to ten. But it comes did off pretty fast. Did your room have windows? Uh, we we did have a porthole, yeah. Okay, because that sometimes helps with the yak, but. I think you know what Not my always. problem was. I uh, I was dumb. I was like, I'm gonna work out on the cruise. And then the first day I got up at like 5.30 a.m. and I started to jog on the treadmill and it was like going up and down and sideways and I'm trying to like keep myself centered. And I, was, I literally got off after like two minutes and was like, I can't do this. And then I sat in a chair for two hours and I was like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And then I yacked and then I was okay, but. Wait, they didn't have a piton at a... Uh... They, they, have, the Disney? they have bikes you can clip into, but they're... Uh, like I don't know, they're not they're not Peloton though. Mm. If it's not Peton, I'm not I'm not hopping on. Ooh, and they yo, also look at these guys, yes. oh, man! Holy cow! Oh, that was a big hit. Okay, watch out for the explosive shit. You also have to um, you got to book a class to use those bikes. Otherwise, you're on like the Life Fitness. Uh, you know the ones where the screen is just dots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey guys, good news. One third of the way to ten gifted. Hundred we need to we need to live in order to be able to get <laughs> that kind of food, food though. More food generators. More this is like the generators. people who join the egg carton rides on Peloton, and like ten minutes in, they're at three hundred watt average, and then thirty minutes in, they're dead. Like their their legs just stop pumping. You gotta you gotta build for the future. Oh, I got one question for you. Hold on. What's, sorry, I had to say something. Um, what's that? So I've seen egg carton in your Discord. What, so people can like join. They like see when you go on and they join right away. To, yeah, like, we, you. we got a whole crew, man. We got like, I don't know, eight to 12 people on every single uh, ride now. Do you tell them when you're riding or it's just you, it alerts them? It's every day, bro. Jake, um, what time? 6.30 PT till 8.30 PT. Ooh, wait, six two hour ride? You know it, brother. What you're on the work. bike every day for two hours? Ninety minutes to two hours. Who are you, Lance Armstrong? With the Disney Plus Channel flow. That's crazy. How many so how many miles per month are you logging? I don't know anything about this whole miles thing. You just <laughs> told me you know pounds. Probably like I don't I don't know, like a thousand miles a month. 1,600 kilometers? You could go across the country. Why don't you just ride across the country? Because <laughs> I like where I'm at. Uh -huh. Has anyone beaten you in like a full Yeah, session? dude. We're, people are going hard. We got some serious gamers in there. I think the score thing broke, but all right. Yes, I agree. All right. <laughs> Halfway to our food goal. Well, 158 for the rest of our lives, boys. Manage that. Let's go this way. Yeah. Come on, food generator. That's a an industrial steeple. I guess that's pretty helpful, actually. No, this sounds like Nirvana. I was literally just gonna say. <laughs> really? <that. laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's a very similar riff. <laughs> I've been locked inside my heart. <laughs> well, that is actually four doors away from our objective that make it three no i can math I, i'm That'd actually this is five this is oh geez this is a lot of we, we, we our health is down so just watch it i'm having a lot of fun like with a three-player co-op i feel like it was designed for this you know big time it, yeah it is the perfect amount yeah shove the brake free you get the you get the whole tank support uh dps dynamic going on and then nobody has to be the healer. <laughs> I like being the healer. I know. Okay, I, I've built a food generator. We literally oh, we're, we're, we have to we're open two, two doors. doors. Wait, 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 guys, come here real quick before you open that. Look at this. Look at my gun. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Holy! That's extremely good. <laughs> we're gonna do it. Here it is. All right. Three oh one. Clip it. it. Clip it. <laughs> T tours F12. Right. All right. Uh, I want a magma fire. That sounds like a lot of fun. We all just got ten subs from Sega. Thanks, Sega. Hey. All right. What do you think right. their design was with this weapon? <laughs> it looks freaking sick. Wait, wait. Look at the shadow, man. All right, all right. Here we go. I like what you're doing there. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I like what you're doing. Ooh. I, I've pivoted to industry production. I think that's smart. Oh no, Timmy! I <laughs> the, the dude is literally standing still, laughing while our our tower is getting hit. Look at the shadow! You see the shadow? I can't see that. Oh, oh yeah, the shadow's pretty good. <laughs> All right, sorry. Is it? Sorry. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad you're having so much fun with it. Oh, okay, there's a there's a mining spot. What what? What's the Thank name you. of Polish sausage? I can't remember it. Kielbasa. Not sauerkraut. Yeah, that's the kielbasa gun. All right, he is locked in. I'm not sure how we get the wave to stop at this point. Okay, oh. there we go. Needed that. <laughs> All right, we apparently can upgrade Crystal Bot as well with Sheesh. those coins. Uh, we can add one food generated for each door opened or one science generated for each door opened. Food, I guess? Let's get some food. 
Yeah, I'll take that. This food costs 300 production. <laughs> <laughs> this food costs 300 frickin' production? Hey, and the, and the Disney Cruise, are like the burgers called like, you know, Mickey Mouse burgers? Or are they just called um, burgers? Usually they're just called burgers, but they do have some Disney related items. It'll be like, you know, Prince Hans's venison loin. What, like, and Goofy's gelato? Well, listen, you tip in your hand. Yeah, I almost called you Bear, Ryan. Do they, they they have Goofy's gelato, right? They don't have Goofy's gelato. They have uh, they do sell Mickey bars, ice cream bars in the shape of one Mitchell Mouse. Donald's drums, <laughs> Donald's drumstick. I think we have another <laughs> Dan weapon that just popped out of this chest. It's getting oh, a little like silly. Just, just yeah, throwing seriously. that out there. It's getting a little silly. Okay. I What's another famous Disney character? I'm just gonna go ahead and unlock yeah, the yeah, brakes do it, for them. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Pinocchio popsicles. But Dan, we got bigger problems oh, there you right go. now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we. Uh, it would be good to have fire. Med kit dispenser. I'm gonna go ahead and get us one more med kit. Sure. Why got not? to break free. I just recently found out how many good songs Queen has. Like I knew they had a couple. Oh, dude, they're the, nuts. Dude, there's so many. How come they, you guys never told me? They were hit machines. Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna research um, Flamethrower. When you made that tweet about Queen, I was like 100% yeah. sure you just watched Highlander or something like that. Highlander? <laughs> they did the, the soundtrack for Highlander. I didn't know that. No, I watched part of the uh, Queen movie. Uh, oh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. All right, like so Radio Gaga, I've never heard before. It's a, it's a 10 out of 10 song. It's a good song. I, I've been guilty of underrating Queen as well, because I thought that they only made songs for like, to get hyped for, for your sixth grade uh, <laughs> softball tournament. Me and my you, team in the dugout listening to We Will Rock You, unaware that the other Dan, teams are all listening music, to We Will Rock You. What music do you play to pump up the team before a game, Dan? Um... Well, before I answer that, can you? I have a question for you guys. What do you think they meant by "all we hear is Radio Goo Goo, Radio Gaga"? <laughs> like, I'm serious. Like, what? What is that? Like, when he's saying that, I'm like, what do you think it means? They're looking for Radio Goo Goo and Radio Gaga. I think it's pretty straightforward. But like, is it just like there's nonsense on the radio? Is that what he's saying? Eh, no, I think so. That seems that, that, that's the gist of it. I think okay. he's listening to, he just had a kid, he's listening to a baby radio station. Ah, and yeah, he's like, he go. wants to hear some songs for adults, but all he hears is Radio Gaga. But to answer your question, Bear, the kids nowadays listen to like a lot of, uh, as they say, mumble rap, which I'm not really nah, too familiar yeah, with. Like yeah, dude. I never I thought know. there'd be a day where there's like old school rap, you know, like oldies rap. But that's well, kind of where we are. Definitely old school rap now, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I found an egg with an enemy in it. It's I wonder if this a merchant. This is I wonder if this is like chill before we fight the boss. I think. Yeah, know what I, mean? yeah, right. I, I think, think so. You're absolutely right. Oh my god! I found a gun. I'm buying it. Holy. Yes. Non-standard weapon. Oh uh, god! Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? What? Oh, wow. I like our odds all of a sudden. Bug mama. Okay, good. If you got fire, use it. Well, put a fire turrets, amplifiers, everything we got. Back to our boy. Oh. There oh my go. God. All right, I'm gonna try to build some shit. I don't know if we can even build in here though. Whoa. Yeah, it's a plus. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand on her and ult so that I, I take all the aggro for a minute. Oh, hold on, I got one station here. Oh What's, no! no they they were still calling for Timmy. Um, I didn't, probably oh. like a bug made it through. <laughs> uh, we didn't even think about it. Uh. See you in the saloon. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, crap. That was a that good was one. A good yeah. Yeah. Enjoyed that a lot. Uh, thanks to Sega for the sponsorship. Exclamation point. Endless and all the mm -hmm. chats will take you to the link to check out the game for yourself. Also down in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. Big thanks to them for the sponsorship today. Thank you. Thank you. Sega, exclamation point, endless. Bear, Ryan, Gary, it was a lot of fun, man. That was a cool game. Yeah, I had a great guys. time. All right, it was fun, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah, later. Adios. Later, later, later. Caught me kissing on the sofa. Wasn't pee. 
excuse me, it's not a reused title. They even got him on camera, wasn't P. That was from yesterday. But she caught me on the counter, wasn't P. That was three days ago. They're all a reference to the same thing. It's not reused. Chat acting like they got better titles. Listen, all I'm going to say is people are saying, why does it take you so long to piss? I'm getting lectured on like piss efficiency by people who took seven years to do their undergrad. We're living in a twisted fucking world, man. You're so mean. I'm responding to you in kind. If you, if your meanness was a joke, then so is my meanness, okay? You don't get to say your meanness is humor and mine is malevolent. Oh, you can say it. I'm not letting you get away with it, I should say. You know what? Just for that, I'm going to burp right into the mic. I didn't tell you it was muted. I did you a solid on that one. People do talk about pissing like it's Hand of Midas. Like, people who don't do anything with their lives are like, man, I would totally use one of my wishes with a genie to stop shitting, because with that extra 10 minutes a day, I'd have... They, it adds up. Adds up to what? One more goon session? Where you're like, why doesn't it feel good anymore? Oh, right, I came. You don't even notice it? Just shooting vapor out of the tip of your wangus? And now the kind of guy, hang on, here we go. And now the kind of guy to roll up his sleeves and say no more Mr. Nice Guy when he starts losing. No, that's not me. That's, that's another whiff, unfortunately. That's definitely mouth. I did see the deadly Panera Bread lemonade, by the way. Thank you for reminding me. I don't have anything to say about it, though. Like... A, you might think that I got some kind of pithy one-liner. It's just a situation that sucks all around. Lady had a heart condition, avoided caffeinated beverages, gets a lemonade at Panera. You know, admittedly, it's called like, you know, psycho lemonade or something like that. So it's like a lemonade energy drink, but just a momentary lapse in judgment or whatever. She drinks a super lemonade, has a heart attack and dies. That's just the sort of thing you, you just gotta say, like, that sucks, honestly. Each cup of that lemonade has approximately four cups of coffee worth of caffeine. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, man. I know everybody likes to believe everything is within their control. They're like, if I had a heart condition, I, didn't, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, probably half of us, myself included, watching this have, like, high blood sugar. And, and then we're still like, yeah, sure, I'll take a second fat tug. I think that that's too much. They, I mean, what do you mean that's not that much caffeine? Four cups of coffee in a cup of lemonade? That's a lot of caffeine, bro. Like, just because your Kyle ass is overdosing on White Monster every day, like, come on. I drink coffee. I would, like, I don't want to sound like I'm pretending to be a hard ass or whatever. Like, I would definitely survive drinking the Panera lemonade. That is a lot of caffeine, though. Let's not lie to the people out there and be like, four cups of coffee is not a lot. Just because you know a motherfucker like more degenerate than you doesn't mean it's not a lot. We got, we got coffee inflation. Okay, good. You got me. You got me. By the way, when we were at that Disney hotel, every, just like showers, every um, hotel coffee maker is different. So this was not the K-Cups. It was like a, a classic coffee maker percolator, okay? And then those weird little like pre... They, they, it's coffee that comes in a filter that you put into the top of it. So I had to read the instructions for it because I was trying to figure it out. And it said like, for a normal coffee maker, use four cups of water and then just throw the shit in the, in the percolator. And I said, no problem. But then it said, note, if you have a 12 cup coffee maker, fill it all the way up and in my head i said wouldn't that make for the weakest cup of coffee all time but i'm out here i'm trusting joffrey's coffee house i said i looked at the coffee maker it was a 12 cup coffee maker so i i filled it all the way up to 12 cups then i threw that shit in the percolator weakest cup of coffee i've ever seen in my entire life I essentially, I had to drink the whole pot to get the equivalent of what I would have gotten if I'd only filled it up to like where it was supposed to be filled up. It was, do not, 
This is why people, I'm a noted instruction reader, because I'm, I, I think it just makes sense that the people making the shit know how to make it better than I do, because my ass is just looking at it like for the first time ever. I, I hate when we like open up a piece of furniture or something like that, and my dad's like, I'm not gonna look at the instructions, because like I know how to build it. I'm like, bro, you're not from Sweden. You don't know how to build this. Let Ikea do the heavy lifting for you. But then I understand where that comes from. It comes from trauma, where people followed the instructions and the instructions were worse than their intuition. So I like double betrayed when somebody writes bad instructions. Because it means that people are gonna trust instructions less in the future. Okay, you got me, kid. With no disrespect, you seem like a joke. You better have like five phases. Like, I'm not gonna beat you first try. But I'm telling you, it's not going 3,000. <laughs> this is the hardest boss up until this point, IMO? What the heck? Really? Harder than Shrek? No, it's not. Absolutely not. Factually incorrect. How do you feel about that? How do you feel when chat turns on you? Just for, just for saying your opinion. And yet you think streaming's a job anyone could do? Bet it didn't feel good. With all due respect, you got no fucking idea what it's like to be number one. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> hey, Moondog6, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Michael Sarah looking, ah. Uh... You ever notice how everybody does a Michael Sarah impression when they drive? It's, it's, it's easier from the side. Normal motherfuckers sit down in a chair like this. As soon as they get behind the wheel of, an odd, of a large automobile. I hope you can see it there. Fuck, fuck, fuck! They're trying to make it look fake! Slow down! You gotta be right next to me for it to look real. I don't get it. They'd be like, lean in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They'd be lean in their head forwards. They don't, they don't put their head on the headrest, myself included. I don't do that. I bet you do. I bet you do. I don't drive. Well then, with all due respect, you got no idea what it's like to be number one. Everything you do affects every facet of every fucking thing. Bandal today? Oh! 316 million views released in 1979, difficulty medium. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten, ten, eight. I don't know what it is. Next. Oh, it's Psycho Killer by the Talking Heads. Okay. Thank you, Tina Weymouth, for your insane bass. Let's hear the voice cover on this one. It wasn't? It wasn't Psycho Killer? Oh, it's I, I can't get no ma na na Satisfaction. I'm a rolling thunder. I'm a pouring. It's the end of this one. It's highway to hell. It's highway to hell. Yeah. It's highway to hell. I got it. Voice cover. The hell. I'm on a highway to hell. I'm on the highway to hell. I'm on mute, but I had NL uh, pegged for guessing Psycho Killer for number three. Excuse me, I guessed it on number two. The bass was identical to Psycho Killer. The guitar part, though. You, oh, come on, you're not going to get Psycho Killer wrong on the guitar part. It goes, ring, ding, 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 Psycho Killer ain't gonna have 300 million views. I kind of thought 300 million was like a little on the low side. Doesn't Gangnam Style have like a trillion? 
I mean, Gangnam Style, obviously, a better song than anything the Talking Heads have ever made. I took chat's advice and bought Baldur's Gate 3. You will look back on this as a formative moment in your life. You could have gotten seven weeks of a Peloton subscription with that instead. By the way, we were talking about it in the, in the Peloton Discord this morning, but I'm laughing. The, the, the economics of this don't make sense, okay? The Peloton subscription is like $45 USD monthly. Someone in the Discord said there was a report where Peloton pays the artists or the labels three cents per listen per song. It's like one of the highest in the industry. So we were running the numbers and we're like at this point, okay, so like 90 minutes to 120 minutes of riding is like 30 to 40 songs. So it's like a buck 20 a day times 30 days a month is like $40. So basically every single member of the egg carton that rides every day is causing Peloton to like end up in the red. <laughs> like we're... <laughs> We're slowly bankrupting the, the product that we're using simply by using it. That report is incorrect. I ain't even got to look to know that that's DL Guiga who just said that. Here we go. Peloton does not pay three cents per song. That's incorrect. Okay, DL Guiga, why don't you tell us what their 10K said this year? Was it directionally correct? Stop talking about the bike. Why? Is it making you feel self-conscious? Me when I'm fat and my friend tells me that they're going on a diet. Those things never work anyway. Yeah, but it's like, no, no, no. Like, yeah, eating like fruits and vegetables is good, but it's like really hard to stick to. We're going out for brunch tomorrow. Do you want to come? You want to come? We're going to do some day drinking. You've been waking up early? We're going to, we'll meet at the bar at 11.30 p.m. There's this awesome place that does cocktails and Belgian waffles. Eddie! I don't know. <laughs> DL Guiga, the kind of guy to shush you in the library. Because you're from Chicago and you work in finance, I picture you as having like slick back hair. Like you're wearing a suit and you got like slick back Al Pacino in the Godfather hair. Yeah, yeah, like Patrick Bateman. That's that's my entire <laughs> Sure, the finance industry is a lot of like, you know, 75-year-old men wearing those blue shirts with the white collars. But in my head, it's all Gordon Gecko, baby. I find you entertaining. Keep it up. Is this, are you like an eternal? Are you a celestial or something? Have I been blessed by the favor of divinity? Even dropped an at Northern Lion in it so it would show up at the front of my mind. What the hell? AI chatbot. Hey, I saw a streamer tweet. I, be I They said the conspiracy theory that I 100% believe is that companies have made AI chatbots to go into Twitch streams to ask them to play games. And I, I, the second I read it, I said, that motherfucker is on to something. Because there's somebody in chat, and I'm sorry, I, I will know your name when I see it, but I'm, I don't remember it at the moment. Every day for three years, you've been asking me to play Moving Out. Which is so bizarre. It's like a, a, a indie multiplayer game where you like grab this shit from inside the house, put it on your car, and then like drive and try not to have it fall off. I've been seeing you post that shit for three straight years. No human being has that kind of tenacity to see another streamer play like one hour of a, of a game, okay? Even Scath Eyes isn't even here anymore, and he gets uh, like so much dopamine from typing Northern Lion harem every single time i'm on to you i don't know what company made that i think it's australian they love ai there and throwing a shrimp on the barbie macros back me up here dl guiga you stay out of this one they love au that's true who doesn't she's a great k-pop artist you rocking with girls generation not really 10 years ago when I lived in South Korea? Like a little bit. What is that? Mm, something, something, something. Nah, nah. Oh, 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 oh. It always messed me up. Because they have a song called G where they say O. Oh. They do also say G, but they say they say O, oh, O, oh, O, oh, O, oh, O. Oh. And then those motherfuckers, they got a song called O. Oh. 
Shit is confusing. The G is the classic. O can't hold a candle. Just, just being honest. Not trying to provoke anyone's ire. K-pop wise, I don't listen to that much K-pop. I would say I'm I'm down with a few bands though that I that I hear in the car. Those new jeans songs are are slappers for sure. Listen to a little bit of uh, Idol. Listen to a little bit of Aespa. 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 Three versions of Cupid. My wife won't let me listen to Cupid because she says that there's drama in Korea. So she says, don't listen to 50-50 to like they're cooked. Something like 50-50 partnered with the producer before they had their big break. Uh, and their producer like financed everything that they did. And then as soon as Cupid hit big, they were like, fuck that dude, we out. They recorded like Cupid 50-50's version, but like betrayal mode or something. That's my limited understanding of the subject. Can you sing it? Cupid is so dumb. Something like that. I'm not a I'm not able to listen to it anymore. It's fine. There's other songs out there. They did it to themselves. I mean, imagine how powerful they would be with my influence on their side. You know the words are in English? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they are. Because I'm not allowed to listen to it. I only know the part where she says, Cupid is so dumb. Just because the words are in the language that I speak, it's not like I know the order that they go in. This shit is like more permutations than like shuffling a deck of cards. I wonder how much faster this game would be over if we didn't distract NL all the time. This is the content, you know that, right? Like, this is what it's all about. You're not like, oh, I'm gonna watch this motherfucker beat Lies of P. I can't wait to see what the ending looks like in Lies of P. Just go to YouTube, dude. Ali A probably posted the ending cinematic like four days before the game came out. It's like you're listening to the radio and you're like, why don't we just make the songs shorter? Then we could listen to so many more. Bro, this is cringe. You're playing Marquee Moon by television. That song's like 10 minutes long. We could be listening to four other songs in the time it takes to listen to that song. American Pie really ain't need to be nine minutes long though. I don't know why but these days people are so obsessed with like the length of media. It's all about the, the quality, you know? Close to the edge by yes, 22 minutes long. Nothing to cut. Killers of the Flower Moon. 99% certified fresh Rotten Tomatoes. People are saying it might be one of the best movies of Martin Scorsese's career. People are like, yeah, but it could cut 15 minutes. But shut the fuck up. You work at Safeway. You don't know what you're talking about. Meanwhile, there's like, there's three minute long songs where I'm like, you didn't need the second verse. It's all about the actual, it's, it's the, the quality, man. Poor Safeway workers. Listen, D.L. Guiga, you were thinking it. Actually, at Safeway, they give you a... The employee handbook says, stay in your lane. It's Publix where people are wilding out. I know that. That shit's in Florida. Everybody's wilding out there. No, it's the worst deal of all time. D.L. Guiga voice. That's true. D.L. Guiga can't have that voice with slick back hair. It's got to be a Sopranos voice. Oh, well, that was bad. <laughs> you said in the past games are too long? Yeah, because they're fucking bad. Because they got a one hour long story, but then they stretch it out. Like three things happen, but then they're like, oh, the fucking tree armies invading. Fight 500 trees and then go to the next checkpoint. You're at the net. The tree army is going to take over. You got to kill the tree boss. You killed the tree boss. We stopped the trees from taking over. Okay, oh, but watch out, the fucking elves are ornery now. You gotta kill the elf army. Oh, it's the head of the elf army. You gotta kill him. We're never... Oh, okay, you killed him. Now we're moving on to the troll army. The troll army's here, guys. We couldn't have possibly seen this coming. I haven't complained at all about Lies of P's length. Partly because a little bit of it is self-inflicted. And then partly because this shit is fucking gas. Sun up to sundown, rolling around, see where the bad guys are to be found and make them lay down. Hey, hey! Okay. I 
I got spooked. See, the problem is you look like you don't have poise. And then you start tanking hits. Like, have all the horrible. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. You're the illusion. Oh, that's bad. Strong attack. Commit. Don't commit. Under commit. Uncommit. Uncommit. I see. I see your shadow. Oh, it's the shadow of the ceiling fan. We're still alive. Chill, lady. Bro, don't get in my face just because you look like Doug Jones. Huge. Circling remains undefeated. Absolutely enormous. Enormous. Wow, I mean that was like, is that even a boss? It felt so good when I killed them. <laughs> the door opened. It was like the dopamine you get when you're like, wait a minute, there's fucking nine panes of glass in this room. Nine. Click. And then it'll go, whoa! Are escape rooms now part of the culture? Or were, or were they a fad? A little bit of both? Like, are we... I guess the, the question that I would be asking is, are we... Yet to find peak escape room, or are we past peak escape room? I feel like it's kind of a, a hard business, right? Because, like, if you live in a city that has, like, a couple of escape rooms, like, you can only go so many times, right? It takes a lot of work to set up the damn puzzles. The escape room near me is an axe-throwing place now. I'm not, uh, I'm genuinely not being a hater here. If you own one of these or work at one of these, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm the only streamer to admit it, though. I feel like the axe throwing is like, it's a fad waiting to happen, right? How many times are you going to go to an axe throwing bar? Craft beer, not a fad. You know how I can tell craft beer isn't a fad? People love to drink. <laughs> It's like saying, like, you know, food is a fad. There's, they've got insane tailwinds. The human brain is broken. Drinking poison makes you feel happy. It doesn't really make sense, but it's... Craft beer is here to stay. But I don't think, I don't think axe throwing is the next step, man. This blue flower has many ways to take root, but only on man does it ever bear fruit. What is mold? A bruise! No, ergo. Ergo. No. Yeah. Br a bruise. <laughs> it's wrong! It was ergo? I was following the story. Ergo lives in the heart of man, but then like when they get too much of it, they're like, what the fuck, I'm crazy now. Something like that. Let me in, let me in. Me, me at the uh, Vincent Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, open parentheses, I don't like art, they're giving away a free Pokemon card to everyone who goes to visit. Plus two, plus two, plus two. <laughs> I think you're right. I think there should be a Vince Vaughn museum. That's a fad? Yeah, it's definitely true. Vince Vaughn, kind of a fad. He's still around, though. I'm trying to think of what else that is out there right now that I consider a fad. 
And again, I, I'm just one man, so if this is your hobby, feel free to push back. I definitely feel like axe throwing, I'm like, no shot. It, if, you, if you forced my hand, I would wager there would be less axe throwing places in 10 years than there are now. Pickleball? See, pickleball, I, I see it having tailwinds. Demographically speaking, people are getting older. I'm sure that the average net worth of a pickleball player is really high right now because it's mostly played by like elderly boomers. That being said, I don't see a reason that like you, you need to spend a lot of money to play pickleball. Boba tea? I'm here to tell you that Boba tea may experience a, a crunch. Like, I, it's kind of like weed dispensaries, right? Where you're, which is probably also a lit... I'm not saying as a fad, like, nobody's going to be smoking weed in 10 years. Everybody's going to be smoking weed in 10 years. But there's not going to be, like, six dispensaries on every block. There's going to be one dispensary on every block. And in Canada, it's going to be owned by a corporation that is a subsidiary of Loblaws, okay? Just the way it goes up here. It'll be next to a Boston pizza, and your mom will have a loyalty card for it, Okay. But I, I feel the same about boba tea. Like, they can't, they can't sustain the amount of boba tea places that are out there. But I definitely still, I see boba tea consumption looking A-OK -okay in, in the long term. Can I say something as well? Again, I'm, I'm never going to beat the Midwestern elite soul in the coastal elite body type of, uh, well, that's probably overly flattering. But anyway, I'm never going to beat those allegations. I missed 80% of the crumble cookie controversy, but I was kind of losing my mind seeing people go like, holy shit, a crumble cookie is really 800 calories. Why are people eating these? And I'm like, well, two reasons. Fucking number one, they're pretty tasty. Number two, if you've never had a crumble cookie in your life, you would never assume that it's 200 calories. The thing weighs like a pound and a half. You would, you would have to be, like, the stupidest person on earth to pick up a crumble cookie and be like, I bet this is the same amount of calories as, like, a regular cookie. It's heavy, bro. Do we pick it up? It's like a brick made of flour and sugar. I was, I was kind of losing it, wondering, like, wait, why are they coming for the Crumble Cookie Corporation? I guess it was because, like, one of the idiots on Twitter was like, my friend just opened a crumble cookie. Here's 10 steps to open your own crumble cookie bakery. But like, you know, idiots love lots of things. I'm not a crumble cookie lover. I'm just not. I was kind of losing it at everybody who's never been to a crumble cookie going like, do people know these are 1100 calories each? Yeah, idiot. Pick one up. It's like saying, like, whoa, did you know, like, the, every rock that you see is full of, like, dense fucking minerals? Yeah, they're heavy as shit, dude. Like, I mean, you could hate on crumble cookies for, like, a variety of reasons. They're, I would, if I'm going to eat 800 calories a cookie, I would rather have, like, eight Oreos than one crumble cookie. Because, like, the outside of the crumble cookie is pretty good, and then the inside is, like, raw flour. Energy drinks? I don't know. Because, like, when I was 17, the only people drinking energy drinks were 17. But they have, many of them have kept up the habit. I now see a lot of, like, like anytime we have to have work done around the house, all those motherfuckers are holding monsters. It's, it's part of the, it's part of the zeitgeist now. I mean, I'm drinking coffee. Like, I'm not going to act like it makes me, you know, superior to them just because I got bean juice instead of taurine or whatever. Panera Charge Lemonade is washed. You know what's crazy? I bet that lady dying after she drank the lemonade is going to make the lemonade sales go crazy. Because, like, if you're... I mean, I'm not going to say that I'm built from any different stuff. If I was at Panera, there's no shot I'm getting any drink other than the one that killed that lady. Because I I, there's a 99.999% chance it's not going to kill me. And I get like some street cred. I'll be like, yeah. Oh, with my broccoli cheddar soup and a bread bowl? I'll take a large charged lemonade with that. I mean, a medium, a medium charged lemonade with that. 
I like coffee versus energy drinks because our us tea folk never get involved. I got my own hang-ups with the tea drinkers. I don't believe that tea is better for you than coffee. I have to see the studies, for one, but even if you show them to me, I'm not going to believe them. <laughs> I have to do the study myself. If you're having, you know, like a fucking mocha sucka fucka chino with, with caramel swizzle in it or whatever, sure. Some green tea with just nothing in it is going to clear you, right? But otherwise, whenever I'm like, I, I typically just drink cold brew black, right? And then people who drink tea are like, aren't you worried about your heart? And I'm like, motherfucker, it's the same thing. It's just like wet energy. You know, there was that motherfucker, and listen, we're all friends here. There was the guy in the, in the Peloton Discord last night. He was going off on me. He was like, I'm as competitive as you. You better make sure that you keep pedaling so I keep pedaling. And I was like, damn, bro, chill. I'm just a pace car. Like, I'm just here to get a workout in. He was like, I'm going to like get you tomorrow. The motherfucker didn't even wake up for the rides. He wasn't in any of them. He wasn't in any He slept in. Everybody's gangster till the 6.30 a.m. call time. I don't really care if he beats my ass in the ride. I'm just saying, like, he was talking a big game. <laughs> Okay, maybe he had a family emergency. I'm just saying, you're absolutely right. The same is seen. It's a GD arms race, bro. Whatever that means. 70% chance he was on ketamine. I wouldn't know about all that. I, I'm not making any ketamine jokes. I'm not Chibli. A, I've never done ketamine. But B, I read like a, an article that like after a year of ketamine use, you get like permanent crystals in your brain or something like that i'm not trying to make you feel bad i'm just saying <laughs> i think there was something in the article though that was like you can reverse it but who knows how bad this shit that reverses it is for you you know that might that might put punch holes in there or something it's not shungite put a little ketamine around the La Casa. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I have to read it every time I see it, man. It's so funny. Anyways, um... <clears throat> I bought a whole bunch of Shungite rocks. Do you know what Shungite is? Anybody know what Shungite is? No, not Shugnite. I think he's locked up in prison. Talking Shungite. Anyways, it's a two billion year old, like, rock stone that protects against frequencies and unwanted frequencies that may be traveling in the air. That's my story. I bought a whole bunch of stuff, put them around the La Casa, little pyramids, stuff like that. I got a glintstone coming out of my head. I don't know what all these drugs do, man, okay? I just want to be able to buy Sudafed. That's it. Like, that's... I will support whatever narcotics policy lets me buy cold medicine that actually works without needing to talk to a pharmacist first. I can be trusted. You can trust... Sorry, you got me thinking about the uh, intrusive thoughts memes. That was, like, after the dude on the flight in the jump seat, like, tried to pull the... This shit is on fire button in the cockpit and kill all those people on the plane. All the memes were like, Yeah, you can trust me in the jump seat. I will not pull the fire handle. Why is there... Hey, does anybody else see that glowing ring around the fire handle? He was a first-time psilocybin user. Apparently, I, I saw that he'd been awake for like 40 hours consecutively too, right? Can you imagine? I, I guarantee that dude's part of like a group chat where like all of his friends were like, dude, you gotta do mushrooms. I did it once and I realized that like all human beings are part of the same collective consciousness. It changed my life. I have, my relationships are so much better. I'm a better parent. I have so much more empathy for strangers. That dude popped mushrooms for the first time and is now being charged with 86 counts of attempted murder. <laughs> 
I would, I would be like, um, bro, you really fucked me with that one, buddy. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to do them. I know the risk is relatively low, but there are anecdotal examples of people that were like normal and then they just took like too much or something like that and they just never came back. They're still, they're still in the sunken place. Just don't get in the jump seat. <laughs> Microdosing is like coffee. I don't, I'm not like a, a fucking psychonaut or whatever, okay? I'm not building the restful API for DoorDash 2, you know? I'm not doing like universe changing work like that. So I don't think I have any need to microdose like LSD or psilocybin mushrooms. I'm just a guy. Picking up my daughter three hours late from daycare. Sorry. I thought that was milligrams, not micrograms. Ooh. I do kind of want to start eating like an edible at night twice a week though. But the problem is it's like semi-irrational, but the, the hat man that lives inside of me is like, what if you eat it and then like 15 minutes later, there's an emergency. Like you put your, <laughs> you put your kid down for a sleep and then you like eat the gusher or whatever. Like every gusher is like 10 times the recommended amount of THC you could consume. And then your kid is like, I'm going to even think I have to go to the hospital right now. And you're like, I guess we have to drive immediately. I got to get, I got to get to the damn hospital within like 35 minutes. Otherwise I'm fucked. And we can't come back. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Take the Peloton. Strap onto the Peloton. Get to the hospital. They're like, what's your postal code? I'm like, fucking, uh... Uh, sorry. Uh, I know it. Sorry, we just moved. Um, fucking... <laughs> I'm not saying it makes you stupid. I'm just saying you're not at your, you're not at your most coherent. If you are at your most coherent, I'm not like a counselor or whatever. But if you're at your most coherent when you're high, you have a problem, right? That's not controversial. Yes, I have a problem. Okay, that's that's all I'm asking for. Everyone knows you're only at your best. After three triple IPAs. I have a high stress job. I'm high on THC the entire time. Yeah, but like, you didn't start out that way. Like, it wasn't like it was your first day as like a, you know, the dude who cools down the rods at the nuclear power plant or something like that. And you're like, hang on. Let me boof this grass real quick. You were like, you probably built up the habit in college amplified it in grad school and then when you got the job you're like well it's too late to hit pump the brakes you know pump it i don't know i'm gonna head through the windshield if i start pumping the brakes makes it easier to blow on the rods what do they call that again when you <laughs> you blow the smoke into someone else's mouth it's not a snowball that's something different that's called a shotgun we got to work on different terminology because there's also beer shotgunning which is when you, it's, if, if you're not familiar, many of you probably are, most of you probably are. If you're not familiar with shotgunning a beer, it's by far the stupidest way to drink a beer, which as a, a young adult makes it easily one of the best. You use your car keys to, you, you turn the can upside down so the air bubble in the can goes to what essentially is the bottom of the can. Then you use your car keys to cut a little metallic hole that inevitably is going to cut the shit out of your mouth when you drink it. And I, I can't pause it. Okay, well now this is, in many ways it's a pause. So you take the can like this, right? Like you're giving a baby the Heimlich maneuver and the air bubble ends up right here. You use your car keys to cut out like a little circle and then it, you put your mouth on it while it's still tilted up. And then probably someone goes like, three, two, one, go. 
and then while grabbing the aluminum tab, you go, and then the gravity pushes the liquid out through the hole down. You'll never see your esophagus move more than when you're shotgunning a beer. I, I have not done one. It's got to be at least like 12, 13 years. I kind of want to do one just to see if I still got the sauce. I think it would be sick to, to hang out with your boys at age 34 and just like have a couple of drinks, but the first one is shotguns. <laughs> and then be like, no, okay, I'll have a glass of red wine, please. Hey, do you want another kokanee? Are you fucking crazy? I'm 34 years old. What do you got? Do you have a white Zinfandel? Why not just drink normally? Well, it's part of the problem, right? It's like, you know, I was going to say because it gets boring. You say that means you're drinking too much? Yeah, that's why the only people who fucking shotgun are like in college or in prison. Like, it is crazy that the idea of shotgunning a Coke Zero is like, it sounds so unpleasant. But shotgunning a beer sounds like better, even though they're both carbonated. Like, <laughs> this is a crazy thing about alcohol, right? It's like at age 21, if you were like, do you want to have like eight sodas tonight? You would be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You think I want to give myself type two diabetes? It was like, well, how about eight beverages that are actually just worse for you? I'd be like, fucking well, double it, bitch. Puss. <laughs> Is it worse, though? It's gotta be, man. Because a Coke is a Coke. A beer is like a Coke plus alcohol. I'm getting a lot of question marks from people who really need to do their own research. I know the connotations of that, but... You ever think about how crazy it is that they, the, like, beer companies don't have to print nutritional information on the beers? Like, I, I get that there's, like, a Surgeon General's warning that's like, you know, don't drink this if you're pregnant. <laughs> or if you're about to drive. But then they don't even have to put, like, the fact that a can of beer is, like, 210 calories on the back. They do it in Europe. They're always... That's what they say about Europe. They're always one step ahead of the game. Lies of P. Yeah, all right. Here's something that's not a lie for you. This game's a stinking pile of cockeria diarrhea duty. I liked it better when it was called Dark Souls Eat My Ass Edition. Let me get this straight. It's a Dark Souls game, and you play as Pinocchio. Let me repeat that. You play as Pinocchio. What's next? A fucking... A Monster Hunter game where you play as Jiminy fucking Cricket? Good idea. I was thinking like it might be one of the best ideas I've ever had. Hey, by the way... Silence. I kill you. Big mistake. You're trash. Look at this guy. Oh, oh me too, boss. Me too. Oh. Actually, the easiest boss in the game so far. Even easier than the agility lady we just fought. You see the person on Twitter that was mad at Sofia Coppola because she made a movie about Priscilla Presley, which is going to remind people that they started dating when she was like 13 years old and Elvis was like 71. Anyway, whatever. They weren't mad about the, the age gap. They were mad about the fact that now people... Yeah, it's like it's going to damage Elvis's legacy for the world to be reminded that he dated a 14-year-old. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld's tanking all the, the age gap discourse right now, man. Elvis has been farming the jungle. 
He's got a hand of Midas. Now you're gonna you're gonna blow up Elvis's farm, bro. Why are you Italian? <laughs> I don't know, because it's funny. That's anger. That's anger. He stopped with his feet. I'm really mad. I, look, the icon is like. Aah! I'm freaking cheesed off. Dang it. See? Thoughts on everyone at TwitchCon getting COVID and being surprised? Listen. <laughs> It's too close to home. People are gonna take offense to it. You know, I got I got friends that went to TwitchCon. I haven't seen it. It's all secondhand. I haven't seen any tweets that are like, I can't believe it. Watch out, everybody. Be safe. It was only it was packs. It's packs where everybody was going to parties. It's the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, going to parties. Then like the next Wednesday, they're like, everyone be careful out there. It's still just so you know, COVID's back. And I'm like, I know. It's fucking been known, bro. Some of us never forgot. Didn't the bunch get it from Evo? Well, like, I don't know how long it's going to be around, but like, you're going to get it from everything that there's a lot of people at, unless you've got like immunity. I still have never tested positive for covid but there's like no shot i haven't had it now i've been sick like 41 times since 2020 every time i get sick i run a test and this shit comes back negative and then i look up like covid symptoms and i'm like it's fucking check 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 <laughs> you're doing the test wrong i'm definitely not because i did it on to someone else and <laughs> their result was positive. I'm not trying to break anybody's uh, HIPAA rights or whatever. I'm just saying. I Trust me, I know how the test works. Yeah, I'm just saying maybe I'm built different. Maybe the test doesn't work on me. It's, it probably is like the psychology studies. It's like I know what the test is going for. So I'm like, I'm not going to I'm not going to give you what you need. You think you're gonna get some gram positive uh, bacteria from inside of this? Fuck you. Me tricking the COVID test. Me bringing in a bladder of fake urine to the novel coronavirus test. The 64 T-bone steaks in my waistband. What do you say fuck me for? <laughs> Sorry. It's gonna take a while to cultivate the, the Gen Z sense of humor where it's just like non sequitur and a non sequitur. I'm used to the exact opposite sense of humor. Which is just reference to reference to reference to reference. You know what? Librarian, the kind of person to say, Oh, I love this song when Don't Stop Believing by Journey comes on. Two can play that game. Pardon me? Yo! In Liza P? Uh, I beat the Swamp Monster boss. And then I have beaten two bosses since then. But they were, like, I'm not saying this to stunt. They're not, like, insanely easy bosses, but they're not even close to the difficulty of the, early, the bosses that were earlier. What? You're two bosses ahead of me. I don't know where you are. Okay, you're, you're, you're basically where I was when I started today, and I, I got here in like two hours. The one that was like, welcome to the city of the future. That one? She was using a fire axe. Yeah, yeah, that's the future. No, I, I beat her uh, yesterday. See, I thought we were like working together. But now that I'm ahead, it's like I've done something wrong. <laughs> She's like, really? Two bosses? It's like I ate, it's like I ate all, the, all the donuts or something like that. She's like, I was saving two of those donuts. What does that mean? Yeah, I'm, they, by real bosses, they had their own arena. They had a, a name, a unique name, and the health bar. No, I beat them yesterday. Oh, no. I'm telling you, they, and I don't want to put the pressure on you. They're, they're bosses. They're not easy, but they're, they're not green monster of the swamp. They're not, uh, 
they're not King of Puppets level. I think I like the police, the band. The band! Every time I hear a police song I've never heard before or haven't heard in a long time, I'm like, this shit goes crazy. Just an autumn magic moment. And the drummer's going. Something, 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 gay battle. Something, something, yeah, that's for my day. You know what I'm talking about? It's not Walgreens music. Walgreens music these days is like Imagine Dragons. Fucking Friends theme song. By the way, Egg, egg Carton. Catch me trying not to laugh during that uh, Sam Yo Hidden Hills ride when they actually played the Germa song, but the real song. Oh, the misery. Every single person is my enemy. Ooh. Oh, the misery. Every single person wants to be my enemy. I was like, this is a real thing? It's the Germa song. It's, it's always going to be the Germa song. How'd you hit that high note? I don't know. I got one in me now and then. It's the opening, the arcane. Well, it's literally by Imagine Dragons. So I'm not going to hold it against the whole show because I heard the show was good. But, like, it is by Imagine Dragons. So, like, if you like that song... You like Imagine Dragons, which I wouldn't be caught admitting to on the internet, but whatever. Everyone's saying worst part of the show. I know for a fact you're still bawling your eyes out when it comes on. <laughs> you're like, worst part of the show. That being said, it does still pog the fuck up out of me. Pog me the fuck up out of it. Uh, I'm gonna get you. Once I get you, we're done, though. Woo See, I only had one in me. I ain't got one more in me. Evil Vince Carter be like, I don't have any more in me. Modern musical act sounding kind of AI, bro. Mecca the lane, sucking the dane, doing the thing, and I do it again. I do it in the pain. Make me a, you make me a believer. No, no, no. I know what you're talking about. It's like Sam Yo's favorite song. And you never did, never did, no, 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 so you know I'm overtime here. Does Mumford have any grandsons yet? Or like, maybe they're child free. I shouldn't just assume, I guess. Imagine they have a falling out. They gotta start touring as like Mumford and nephews. <laughs> Mum Mumford et al. Or it'd be even worse if they just had to tour as sons, man. Hold the Mumford. Please raid Kate. No, I gotta kill this. He's fucking insubordinate, bro. Mumford et al. Sounds like a fucking Stanford prison experiment. Made up fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm laughs> He's got such a way with words. Fucking piece of shit, fucking dickhead, bro. My DoorDash is here. I'm not leaving this shit to chance. I'm not leaving this shit to chance. Damn, they don't make them like this anymore. It's a damn boss fight. Imagine! Imagine! <laughs> Nah, not this one? Okay, okay, never mind. These fuckers again. <laughs> Accept your fate. 
death has come for you. Excuse me, I came for death. Thanos in the comics be like. <laughs> All right, demonstration time. Who wants to watch this guy break apart? <laughs> At the same time? I remember you. Do 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 do. Last time I fought you, it was one at a time, but I was also a lot worse. had the backstab. That's the worst part about all of that. Any percent poisonous? Okay. I, I mean, it looks pretty hard. <laughs> anyway. All right. All right. Slash marker. Slash marker. Lies of P. Slash marker. Raid. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. By the way, I didn't even mention, I had a great time playing uh, Endless Dungeon. The first time I played it solo, I feel like I was, I was juggling with too many balls in the air. But with, with, with the ability to delegate, have Bear handle the turrets, I handle like the, the higher level strategy and planning. Dan handles the DPS. It really felt like we were kind of gelling there at the end. Felt like we, we, we came together like a well-oiled machine. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Took my bike to the lake Brought my shovel, brought my rake Took my boy to the swing Let him swing, let them ring Bought my friends Italian beef Make them fart and make them queef Abraham Lincoln was governor Steel man can be loved. If you know what I'm talking about, Sufjan Stevens.